So he can't get contrast, right? Right, no. So it'll be just a straight non con yeah, like for obstruction or. Than if you are in the ER waiting room at around like 9 or 10 a.m., you'll see an influx of patients with the buses that sort of hit the front door. And so the bus will unload and like a exodus of patients will come register. And that's just sort of their project for the day is to make it to Highland and out. Almost anyone in our system comes through the ED. I mean, almost everybody. There's certainly people who get referred, they have a primary doctor in the community who get, again, referred for tests or specialty clinics and stuff. But most people, and certainly the vast, vast, vast majority of people who are admitted to the hospital come through the ER. That's really sort of the access point for, for our patients. So this guy's a, a mystery case. Uh, nobody really knows exactly what's going on with him, but um, I saw him in the ER a couple of weeks ago and actually admitted him, and now I get to take care of him as an inpatient. Unfortunately, he has to be in restraints because he's very agitated, and we'll try and uh, make him comfortable and get him the appropriate tests. To think that if I had like a, an infection in my leg, I would take antibiotics and I would go home and I would rest it and I'd take a couple days off work. And the key for that is antibiotics and elevation. Something as simple as that some of our patients can't accomplish because it's hard to lay down and elevate your foot when you're sleeping in a, on the streets. Or even if you get placed them in a shelter, um, patients have to be out of the shelter in the morning and they have to come back and line up again at night to get back in. Talking like you know.